to get any result you want is not as difficult as you make it look. You see, I've learned that, and I learned this from my NLP class, that everything is state dependent. When you create the state you need, you get the results you want. So I'm going to take you through a short tool that I've administered in therapy and in coaching, and it's going to really help you. For every meeting, when you're meeting someone for the first time, or you're going into a meeting, or you're aspiring for a particular ambition, you have a particular goal to set, a particular target to meet, a particular expectation, anything you want to achieve, first ask yourself, what is the environment that can help me achieve this? What is that environment? Do I need a political environment? Do I need a relationship environment? Do I need a studious environment? Do I need an isolated environment? Or do I need a serene environment? Do I need a noisy environment? Do I need a partying environment? What kind of environment can help me get the goal I want in my mind? The first thing to determine is the environment. When you determine the environment, the next question you ask yourself is what is the goal for this environment? So if I'm going into a meeting, I need to determine what is the goal expected at the end of this meeting. If I'm meeting someone, what's the goal for meeting this person? If I'm having a conversation, what's the goal for having this conversation? If I'm aspiring for a particular pursuit or ambition, what is the goal that I hope to achieve by the time I get this objective that I'm pursuing? So. First, determine the environment. Next, determine the goal that the environment is meant to achieve. Thirdly, what is my role in achieving the goal in the context of this environment? You have a role to play. Remember, in the psychology of goals, we say that anything that is beyond your control, you cannot determine it, you cannot achieve it. So you have to raise your capacity and leverage of control. It means that you have a role to play to get your results achieved. I was telling my dad yesterday morning, you know, and I said, one of the things that many people do not take responsibility for is ownership. If you do not have an, a stake, if you do not have control, if you do not find yourself responsible for what you're looking for, you can never achieve it. If you're waiting for an external entity, whether an event or a person, to help you achieve what you're looking for, you can never achieve it. So you need to take responsibility for the role you must play to be able to get the goal achieved in the environment you have identified when you have identified the environment the goal and your role the next thing you must determine is what are the skill sets i have that i must bring on board as i execute my role to achieve this goal in the environment that i have created because there are skills you have that you must leverage, you must use, you must take advantage of. Take advantage of your skills. Don't focus on the skills you don't have. Rather, focus on the skills you have and use the skills you have as you play your role to achieve the goal. The next thing is what behaviors must I put on to be able to achieve this goal? Because skills are different from behaviors. Behaviors are like, do I need to be quiet? Do I need to be firm? Do I need to be assertive? Do I need to increase rapport? Do I need to be more circumspect? Do I need to laugh more? Do I need to smile less? Do I need to be uptight? Do I need to be to, to behave more comported? These are behaviors. They are not skills. Skills are professional. Behaviors are attitudinal. What attitudes must I bring on to get this goal done? And your behaviors determine a lot, irrespective of your qualification. Focusing on qualification is is inferior focusing on attitude is superior so ask yourself what behaviors what behaviors what attitude must i bring on board to get this goal achieved and lastly which person or persons must i leverage to get my goal achieved you cannot get anything done until you identify stakeholders and people in your journey that can get you your result so first environment next goal Third, my role. Fourth, my skills. Fifth, my behaviors. And sixth, persons I can leverage. I hope this video has helped you. Let me know how it has helped you. Hook up with me and let's talk. Have a wonderful week. God bless you.